Hey everyone, Matt Pridham, back again with a shot plot video tutorial. Today we're going to go over the basics of shot plot. All right, let's get started here. So when we open it up here, we're given a little bit of instruction. Uh, we do recommend the landscape orientation. We've uh, really designed it for that orientation. It will work in portrait, but uh, again, landscape is recommended. So to get started, we'll just uh, click the plus sign to create a new plot. And then from here, we need to choose um, a category type. Uh, in this case, we're going to be shooting a little Palma. And uh, we'll start with an 800 yard target. Now we'll notice there was just one target in there, and because of that, it auto-selected. If you had multiple targets for a particular distance, it would let you choose from them. And so it pulls up our target here, and we're given a little bit of instruction on how to proceed. Uh, we just simply touch the screen to drop a shot, or to plot a shot. And uh, we touch and hold to reposition any shots that we would have placed. Okay, to dismiss these instructions. Now, a question I get often is, um, where where do I enter what gun I'm using? Where do I enter what ammo I'm using? The, one of the design choices that I made when, when developing this was that uh, oftentimes when it's your turn to shoot, you are limited by time. Uh, somebody calls your name, you're on this relay, it's time to lay down, get in place, or sit down if you're shooting bench rest. Uh, stand if you're shooting standing, and uh, you got to get shooting. There's no time to set up uh, set up your device. There's no time to enter any details. Simply need to uh, get a target and start plotting. For that sake, uh, we load right into plotting mode, and then when we click finish and save, once we're finished and we can step away from the line, it allows us to enter a few more details about that session. All right, so that's out of the way. Let's let's get started, shall we? Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and shoot our first shot. Uh, this will be a cider shot. Uh, we are shooting full bore palma, so we are allotted two ciders. And uh, 800 yards, and um, we may be not so zeroed in for the day. It's a little windy, so our first cider probably land up in the seven somewhere. Okay, so uh, our next shot, we're going to need to come down a few clicks. We're going to need to come over a few clicks. And um, let's say we got pretty close, but we, we didn't we didn't nail it, so maybe drop our next shot there. Now this is full bore, and we are allowed to convert ciders if we feel that they are a, a decent shot and we want them to score. In this case, uh, let's go ahead and, and count this cider. So we'll just go over here and uncheck the cider box, and you'll notice it becomes a number one instead of an S. And up here we have a distinction between their ciders and our shots. Again, we can turn that back into a cider if we like, or turn it off. We also had to make a few adjustments on our site in order to get to this position. So we can say, uh, let's say we came down about four clicks, and maybe over two clicks. And we can go ahead and continue to enter our shots as, as we take them. And it's uh, 800 meters, remember, so we're not going to get them all in the X. And uh, maybe it's a little windy. We get a little bit of gusting going on. Now, you'll notice, uh, of course, in the top right corner, we have an elapsed time from our very first shot. So we can keep track of, of how much longer we have in this, in this relay. As well, below, we've got the shot score. This last uh, tenth shot that we placed, it shows us uh, that score, as well as our cumulative score for all of our shots combined. Of course, it doesn't include any ciders in the cumulative score. And again, we can just touch and hold uh, anywhere near this tenth shot and start to drag it around if we uh, feel that we didn't quite enter it in the right spot. And you'll notice down here near the shot score, our, our uh, score is updated as we go through the various rings. This gives you a good idea of, of um, where to set your shots when you're, when you're trying to be precise. So let's call this a 10x just inside the line. The other thing we can do uh, while we're in here is uh, we could go back and move one of our prior shots uh, if we realize that maybe it was in the wrong place. Uh, for example, maybe maybe shot 8 was uh, actually uh, scored for a 9 and not for an 8. So we just go back here and click on the 8th shot. You'll notice it's highlighted the shot window. And now anything we try and do on the board will be reflected to that shot. And we could move the 8 in a bit tighter. We can continue to just uh, drop shots as you as you would normally. 
Okay, so we fired our, our 10 shots at 800 yards. And uh, typically we would go ahead <coughs> and click finish and save. But in this case, we're shooting Palma. And uh, typically when you shoot Palma, you'll shoot 800, then you'll shoot 900, and then you'll shoot 1,000 yards. And typically this is done on the same day. And uh, at the end of the day, you sometimes want to know a cumulative score of all three targets. So in this version, we've allowed us to do this. We go ahead and use two fingers. Uh, I'm on a simulator, so I have to use a little bit of fan dangling here. And uh, using two fingers on your, on your iPad, simply swipe across the target to bring in a brand new target. Now you'll notice that we've brought in the exact same target, so we're using the Palma 800. We actually want to go to 900 yards. So let's go back and choose a different target. Palma, 900 yards this time. And we can continue to plot just as we would. You'll notice our elapsed time has paused. Uh, so this gives you some time to get to your, to your next uh, station and, and get shooting again. So let's go ahead and, and plot some shots on this, on this uh, diagram as well. And we'll use both ciders this time. And then lastly, we need to uh, shoot our 1,000 yards. So we'll go ahead and use two fingers again and swipe across in order to bring in a new target. We'll add to targets, Palma, and bring in a 1,000 yard target. And we'll drop a few on here as well. We're up to 1,000 yards now, so of course our shots are not going to be quite as precise. We'll get a 10x in there just for just for good measure. And uh, so let's go ahead and, and have a quick look at our other targets, uh, just to confirm that they are still there. So uh, using two fingers, we just want to swipe back, have a look at our 900 uh, yard target. And two fingers again, and we swipe back. We're at our 800 yard target. So let's head back to our 1,000 yard target. And from here, let's go ahead and finish and save to f save this plot permanently. So as mentioned before, now we're presented with our details. And we can go ahead and, and start to fill some of this stuff in. Um, we can go ahead and, and give it a name. And we can go ahead and enter a new firearm, since this is our first time. And we can enter some details about this firearm. Uh, currently, I have 2,200 shots through this uh, through this gun. Oh, not 22,000. We have an expected barrel life of 4,500 shots. We currently don't have any uh, logged shots for this particular gun, and it is in a caliber of 308 Winchester. We'll go ahead and save this. And we're using uh, diopter and globe sights. So our diopter is 1.8 millimeters and shooting with an aperture of 4.2 millimeters. Plastic round. And we'll save that. Head into the ammo, and it will load your factory ammo the first time you head in here, so it may take a few moments for this list to show up. Uh, rest assured, it will show up, and uh, once it's loaded the first time through, it shows up much quicker every other time. Now, we could go ahead and, and just load in some 308 ammo here. Um, you see, we can use the, the legend down the side to jump to a particular letter or what have you. But I think I'd like to enter some custom ammo. So we'll go ahead and click New Ammo. And we'll go ahead and save that. We'll enter a new shooting range.
And in this case, we are actually shooting uh, on a level playing field, so there's no need to enter an angle. Uh, though you can um, hold your iPad either uh, on a cool barrel or simply just uh, aiming at the target like you would with your firearm and click the start button and it will automatically find the angle that you're pointing at. Lastly, we can load in some weather details here. And if we choose, we could enter some notes about this particular session, uh, maybe commenting on the wind or um, some interesting things that happened with your firearm that day. And we'll go ahead and click the Save button up here at the top to uh, finalize this, this plot. You'll notice uh, we now have our plot here with uh, the various details. We can click on it to see a few more details and scroll down to see any notes we may have uh, left on that plot. And as we start to um, you know, fill this up with other plots, we can uh, go ahead and sort them in, in various styles, either descending or ascending, uh, by score, by ammo, etc. We default to the uh, descending date, so the newest are at the top. You can also uh, search through if, if you're um, finding that you have a lot and you need to find very specific uh, plots. You can go ahead and, and search through uh, using our search bar. And uh, lastly, on, uh, on the shop plot uh, main screen here, we can delete any of our plots simply by clicking the edit button here the minus sign next to uh, any of our plots here, and finally the delete button. And done. And that's all there really is to it. I hope you guys learned something today, and uh, we'll see everyone next time.